students uh, in this lecture we are going to see something on uh, driving cycle so welcome back again to electric vehicle minor course that is gtu uh, standard 114 ax01 we are in second chapter and we are learning about the power calculation and the vehicle characteristics so in this lecture we are going to see something on a driving cycle driving cycle uh, you can see here it is basically a speed versus uh, time characteristic and uh, that is very helpful uh, to estimate the average range of electric vehicle or rather when you want to design electric vehicle what will be your profile for the speed and with respect to the time okay so initial speed and then the remaining characteristic so ultimately and uh, the driving cycle is going to help us to understand uh, you know this uh, characteristic based of speed and once the speed is known as we know the formula of power power is equal to torque into speed so based on that the torque characteristic will also be calculated so basically driving cycle will help us in uh, calculation for the designing various parameter especially for motor especially for battery so a single uh, driving cycle and how much kilometer you can drive for a single cycle so depending on the charging time you can estimate the average range of the electric vehicle so this is uh, actually a driving cycle so uh, if if you want to uh, define the driving cycle so basically driving cycle is a standard pattern of electric vehicle which is a speed versus time characteristic and that will help uh, the manufacturer as well as the testing agencies to identify the range of electric vehicle okay initially uh, first thing uh, first driving cycle was from actual real traffic of los angeles city and that is la4 so uh, based on la4 uh, various testing has been done and later on uh, for range identification that is vehicle range uh, calculation or the vehicle range test that is uh, done using two method one is constant velocity uh, and as we know actually in reality the constant velocity is not possible so the speed is always changing right so based on time based on the traffic based on the hurdles the speed is going to change second test is uh, complex and real and that is uh, based on the simulation so there will be some fixed standard uh, driving cycles based on and the where is the vehicle manufacturer used to launch their vehicle say suppose urban area or between the city or maybe you know the rural area depending on the driving cycle standards are there uh, there are some standard cycles um, as uh, sa is there society of automotive engineers are there and some driving cycles are based on the traffic engineering es traffic engineering so uh, we'll see um, you know we'll touch some of them not all but we'll try to touch some of them so here is a fds cycle and fds cycle is uh, telling something uh, almost about 1500 seconds okay so what is the profile of speed uh, with respect to the 1500 seconds that is given here and after that this one is simplified okay so simplified uh, federal urban driving schedule is here so uh, if we compare this to it, it's very easy to understand that the driving cycle has been uh, you know uh, taken a linearity uh, characteristic for the speed versus the time and based on that and this is uh, 350 second this is 350 second uh, driving cycle so other than this there is ece 15 also there ftp 75 is there and 765 seconds are also there so basically driving cycle uh, is having the time span and that time span is nothing but uh, when the driver is used to drive a particular period 
so from initial that is zero to the stoppage that is the final time and that varies 365 765 15 or uh, 1500 maybe you know 750 something something so based on that some fixed uh, driving cycles are there and this is very helpful to understand uh, uh, particularly first thing that is range second thing that is the battery rating and third that is power rating of the motor okay so this is very crucial and very important so uh, students as we are uh, learning something on the driving cycle ECE 15 uh, this uh, we have seen so here are some of the time uh, versus speed characteristic is there and based on that there are some specific definitions so I am taking you to SAE uh, J227 and driving cycle which is generally used for uh, driving test and identifying the range of the electric vehicle or maybe any vehicle okay ultimately this is for vehicle test so here in the diagram you can see here there is a TA uh, then TCR is there TCU is there TB and TA is there so basically TA is the acceleration time then TCR is cruising time TCO that is coasting period or coasting time and uh, the last one that is TB that is braking time and in the end you can see here TI that is idle time which where the vehicle is at rest so including TA TCR TCO TB and TI a fixed period of cycle is configured and uh, based on the type of a vehicle based on uh, you know the manufacturers expectation to launch the vehicle this period uh, changes okay uh, your TA uh, may be from 16 to 100 okay something like that your braking period may be you know 5 to 9 uh, and ultimately your resting period may vary from 5 seconds to 25 seconds and total period of your driving cycle may uh, range it you know uh, from like 40 seconds to 122 seconds so this is um, uh, another example of a driving cycle test you can see here and, and that is very important to understand now uh, if we refer uh, the basic definition of speed speed is equal to distance traveled divided by time right so if we multiply speed and time it is going to give us the distance right so if we find out the area area under the curve of the driving cycle it is going to give us the range of electric vehicle that is a single cycle driving so a single cycle driving range can be estimated by finding the cross-sectional area under the curve of driving cycle okay and that is what uh, we are going to do through some software and let us see it okay so uh, we are uh, supposed to find out the range of electric vehicle right so based on that I'm taking you uh, to the software that is GeoGebra, and then we'll go to GeoMetric. Okay. In this software, uh, first of all, uh, you may plot the axis by just clicking on it. Then you should have something in your mind based on uh, your own driving cycle. So driving cycle is basically a polygon. So I'll try to plot a polygon. Let us say my first acceleration period uh, assume that 40 kilometers per hour and that is in round about two seconds. Then there is a cruising period, okay, which is uh, constant, let us say for five more seconds. So up to seven, it is there and crossing period for two seconds and it goes to, let us say at 20 kilometers per hour within uh, two seconds. And then it goes for braking within one second, or you may take to two. Okay, and this is there. So there is a closure of my driving cycle. So here T A is there, T C R is there, T C O is there, and T B is there. 
total driving cycle is of 10 seconds okay so uh, in this i want to find out the area all right y that is vertical axis is speed x that is horizontal axis is time so speed into time is going to give me the distance right and i'm taking this four in this so ultimately this is going to be you know 10 times whatever answer will come that will be 10 times because here it is 1 2 3 4 and we had taken 10 20 30 40 time scale is same so now i'll go in measurement measurement of area measurement of area is there okay i have to click on this just it is uh, telling me 30.9 so total 309 kilometer distance that is based on cycle no, uh, it's not so because our period that is uh, 40 kilometer per hour one scale and another is a uh, scale is second so we have to convert that scale right so our answer will be kilometer per hour into second so this is 309 kilometer per hour into second. Now convert that R into second and accordingly you will find the distance. Uh, second thing comes that is I can change this. Okay, suppose my uh, estimated average is not 309, but I want it uh, to be, uh, let us say, 400. So what I can do is I can move this and try to have something based on it okay and then this is something like this this is let us say 40 okay okay so this is my 40 so this is again 400 right so my answer comes out to be is 400 kilometer per hour into second. So in that case, I will convert that R into second, second that is 3600 second. I will multiply it, and then I can easily find out the average range of my kilometer of the electric vehicle, right? So based on the driving cycle, you can estimate, and this is from start to stop. So how many times you are going to do this and accordingly you will have the average of it fine so uh, you may design your driving cycle you may uh, try ec 15 or fpg 75 or maybe fuds uh, whichever is uh, applicable to your electric vehicle right so uh, subscribe our channel do watch the videos and keep yourself up to date for electric vehicle scheme, electric vehicle minor course that is by GTU. Okay. Uh, well, you will see the important questions coming at the end. Thank you.